Thank you for joining us for this Eucharistic celebration marking the epiphany of the Lord, God's manifestation of his love for us and the child born at Bethlehem, and the visit of the Magi from the East who come to worship the newborn king. During this celebration, may we reflect upon the many ways that God manifests and reveals his love for us each and every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, so that we might more worthily enter into these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Word made flesh, the, spen the splendor of the Father's love for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the revelation, the manifestation of God's presence with us and his eternal love for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. On this day of joy, we join with the angels and saints as we pray, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Epha. All from Sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. 
the kings of Arab, Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth, earth will adore, adore you. you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that, has, that was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The very word epiphany means a manifestation or a revelation. In the child born at Bethlehem, God the Father has revealed the universal nature of his love. A child born the child of the promise, born to set all people free. And the universal nature of God's offer of salvation in Jesus Christ is seen through the arrival of the Magi, the visitors from the East, who have witnessed the proclamation of the king's birth in a star. 
As I very often hear the story of the Magi and their being able to see that star and setting out on a journey to find the newborn king, their insight, their spiritual insight, and their understanding in St. Matthew's Gospel is contrasted with King Herod, his own blindness, his own selfish designs, his own less than ideal plans for this child whom he sees as a threat. The question spiritually can be asked, why is it that the Magi can see the star? And apparently, King Herod is not able to see the star. The Magi are open, open to what God is manifesting in the star and in the birth of the child. And they make a very long and a very perilous journey to worship the newborn king. They are open to what the star and the child proclaim, salvation for all. Herod, in contrast, is blind, spiritually blind, blinded by his own self-indulgence, blinded by his selfishness, He sees the child as a threat, and he will deal with the child as such. The spiritual insight and witness of the Magi contrasted with the spiritual blindness and selfishness of King Herod. Perhaps we know the experience of both. There are those times in our lives when it is very easy to see the presence of God and very easy to understand what God is asking of us. But then there are those times in our lives when we are more like King Herod in our own blindness, when our own selfishness, when our own spiritual refusal to see block us from appreciating and responding to all that God is doing as a revelation of his love for us. The Magi set out upon a very long and a very, very perilous journey. There are many people in our world today, migrants and displaced people and immigrants who set out on very long and very perilous journeys. Pope Francis constantly places before us the millions and millions and millions and millions of displaced people in our world. The many, many people who, for valid reasons, desire to immigrate to another country. The many, many ways that people in our world, because of their suffering, are on the move. Those who migrate and those whose plight is very difficult because of that. Today, as we reflect upon the Magi, who were people on the move, we could say, maybe the challenge for me perhaps the challenge for you is to see what God is calling us to with regard to immigrants and migrants and people on the move, to see in each and every one of them the manifestation of a human dignity given to them by God and to seek to respond to them in their need because of our belief in the child born at Bethlehem and what he calls you and me to be as his disciples. We thank God for the many, many ways that he reveals and he manifests his love for us each and every day. May we always be open to understanding 
as the Magi were, what God is calling us to, and not close our minds and drown in our selfishness as King Herod did. And that selfishness blinded him to what God was revealing. Each and every day, in some way, God manifests his love for you and me. And he then invites us in appropriate ways to share that love with others. May God in his goodness, through this prayer that we enter into, strengthen our resolve to find the Christ child in each and every person, in immigrants and migrants and people on the move, and to the best of our ability to be the compassion of Jesus Christ to them. Amen. As one family in faith, we profess the faith of our baptism. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's nearness to us in this time of special prayer, let us seize this opportunity to make known to him these areas of our need. For Francis, our Pope, Shelton, our Bishop, and all the clergy, that God may grant them wisdom in pastoring the people entrusted to their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, as we celebrate the Epiphany, that we may see more clearly the face of God who loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who feel alone in their need and suffering, that they may know the nearness of God on his holy day, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have died, that they may come to rest in the loving embrace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for all immigrants and migrants, that people on the move, especially those on the move because of suffering or political unrest in their countries, that we might see in them the call of God to meet them in their need and respond to that need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in you we place our hope and trust. Hear and answer us. For these and all things we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we proclaim the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, eternal with you in your glory, appeared in a human body, truly sharing our flesh. And in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray... Graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, Jesus, your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. our prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, as always, for your enduring faith. Thank you for joining in this celebration of the Eucharist and praying with us. Thank you for your ongoing dedication to our parish churches. May God bless you on this wonderful solemnity of the Epiphany, and always may he manifest to you the revelation of his love for you in many ways. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.